Hello, and welcome to the first annual Quad A Exhibitors Video Roundtable. Because of the difficult times our nation has been facing over this past year, the Army Aviation Association of America's professional forum has been significantly smaller than previous years, but no less vibrant. So, as a thank you to the aviation companies that brought their aircraft to this year's event, we now bring you each exhibitor themselves, telling you about the new and innovative aircraft that will help defend our nation. Thank you. Well, this year EADS North America has brought the Armed Aerial Scout 72X Plus to Quad A. Uh, the X Plus is an armed derivative of the UA-72A Lakota helicopter that the Army flies, 250 of which have been delivered so far, all on time and on cost. And Essentially, this aircraft is the next evolution of the Lakota to fill the armed scout capability gap. It uh, has the right performance characteristics for the Army's high-hot environment where an armed scout has to thrive. It's at the right price point. It's in their affordability band, and it's available rapidly for uh, production from a hot production line we have in the U.S. Uh, down in Columbus, Mississippi. So we've been excited to show this to the Army, and we're excited to uh, get it into the hands of the operators as soon as possible. Hi, my name is Dave Williams with North Star Aviation. Um, we're here today at the uh, show with our brand new 407 GX that we modify. This is a Bell aircraft that we take and uh, completely modify, put a lot of uh, uh, weapons, armor. Um, it's got the standard Garmin system in it and then uh, you know, with platform we work with uh, Cantine Armament, FLIR and Southeast Aerospace are our partners. And, uh, we've developed this aircraft here as a solution for a multi-role light attack helicopter. Hi, I'm Terry Reeves from Bell Helicopter, and what I have here is the MO2, Demonstrator 2, which is used for the voluntary flight demonstration for the Armed Aerial Scout Program. It's actually an OH-58D configured with some of the improvements that go on the OH-58F program, or what some people call the CASIP, Cockpit and Sensor Upgrade Program. That includes the, uh, the new nose-mounted sensor, common sensor for the Army, also includes the higher skid gear, the uh, landing light is moving in this thing also, uh, it also has a, a few additional modifications, we'll have the CDS-5 cockpit on it. Uh, overall, it is a, uh, uh, an upgrade and an improvement to the uh, current OH-58 fleet, which continues to be the Army's most in, uh, in, uh, demanded, most uh, operationally of, uh, reliable and dependable aircraft out there in the system for the Army right now in combat. KD continues to remain a scout that will be relevant for many years to come. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to the Sikorsky booth. This is the Sikorsky X2 technology demonstrator. We've flown the aircraft uh, uh, over about 24 flights. We got it up to, or flew it up to 263 knots, 2 degrees nose low attitude. It's a fully funded program by Sikorsky Aircraft. Uh, we had our test pilot, Kevin Brent, back fly the aircraft. Again, over about a 24 flight period, about 26 total flights. We had four key performance parameters or objectives. One, fly the aircraft flat, fast, low pilot workload, low vibration, and then low acoustic signature. Uh, we are complete with this portion of the uh, program, of our X2 program. And now, we're, if you follow me over this way, we're going to uh, start the S-97 Raider program, and we're going to build two of these aircraft and fly those next year in 2014. This aircraft is a little bit bigger than the other one I just mentioned. It's got a 34-foot rotor diameter, about a 39-foot operating length. Again, this is fully funded by Sikorsky Aircraft and 33 of our suppliers. We expect to fly the aircraft in 2014. It's got a little bit different features on it. It's got two pilots side by side. It's got a flexible cabin area that you can fit either six fully uh, configured combat soldiers in it, or you can put fuel or additional am ammunition in it. The aircraft is a multi-purpose, multi-role aircraft. It can be configured for light attack, light reconnaissance, or it can be configured for light, uh, light assault with the troops inside. Uh, we're going to build the aircraft or assemble the aircraft at West Palm Beach where our test flight facility is and begin flights in the last quarter of 2014. And we hope to compete this aircraft if the Army ever decides to do an armed barrel scout program. Uh, we'd like to enter into that uh, as, a, as a competitive option for the U.S. Army.
Augusta Westland's AW169 Armed Aerial Scout. Uh, we unveiled here at uh, Quad A, and we are very excited uh, to join uh, uh, our aircraft to the mix of others that are here uh, vying for this competition. We think our, our new design, uh, our performance, uh, our speed, our endurance, uh, all the qualities that, uh, that this aircraft has uh, integrates advanced technologies and lessons learned from the 139 and other family of aircraft. Augusta Westland has a vast experience in uh, weapons integration. Uh, as you know, we co-produce uh, or we produce uh, Apaches under license. We produce uh, Chinooks under license. We've got the Mangusta attack helicopter. So we've done attack aircraft, integrated weapon systems. Uh, we've, uh, we build and support aircraft for markets around the world. So we're excited about our 169 and the Armed Aerial Scout uh, competition.